guys in this part also we are going to continue with the switch case statement in C programming so we just learn about how to using an integer value and a character value with a switch case statement so here on the previous example we just check whether a given entered character is a vowel or not so here uh, I just put small small letters in small letters in cases so uh, I run the program again so if I put capital A we, we not get the correct output it is not vowel actually capital A is also a vowel so we have to so in that case we need we need to check the same same situation that means uh, in some situation we have to print same statement for a number of cases so in this case small a and capital A are vowel so it is uh, you can print that you can use to different cases but uh, you can use the same statement of statement for two different cases it is very easy just put the case together so here it is case A this is legal this one is legal so if it is check the if it if this case is satisfied that means if I enter uh, character as capital A then this case is satisfied there is no statement associated with this case so also there is no break statement is available with this case one this case so it now enter into the next case without checking without further checking so it execute the statement available with that case and now it got a break and it, it will exit the loop okay so I save the program uh, compile it without error and run it so now I put capital A we got the output correctly now I run the program again now I put small a now also we got the output correctly so we can done it for all the done 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 the same for all the vowels case E case capital E here also capital I case capital I don't forget to add the columns if you forget to add the colon it will cause error it will definitely make an error okay do the same for all the vowels here it is case capital O and finally here it is capital U you can add you can combine any number of cases together like this but there is only one statement available with that cases uh, it is U capital U okay so here I use the same statement for two cases you can combine any number of cases like this the execution is very simple so first it to check the case if this one is satisfied there is no break statement available with this case so it will uh, go to the subsequent case without any checking so it will execute the statement and now it got a break so the statement will exit okay uh, also it is also one more thing if I put a print of statement here I just put a print of statement here hello all now you can see that this printf is not belonging to any of the cases it is not it is just a statement that is placed inside a switch case that means now it is not belonging to any cases so now we can check what happens if such a statement is present on a case you can see there is no error present that means if you put a statement in a switch case the compiler not show anything but on the output but on the output I just put E you can see that we got the correct output only that means 
this statement is not executed that means if you put anything inside a switch case that statement must be within a case otherwise that statement is something something called a non reachable code that means the compiler will not ex will not execute this print of statement at any time it will not execute this anymore that is the uh, that is the working principle of a switch case statement that means if you put anything is a is a statement or block of statement inside a switch that must be belonging to some cases otherwise it will not execute okay guys i hope you enjoy this video try to make more example try to um, try to uh, try more examples uh, using switch cases it is very useful to use switch cases in menu driven programs uh, with the do while loop so try to make some calculator operations with the menu driven using switch cases and i hope you enjoy this video thank you for watching see you in the next part